been crazy. I'm, I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm all right. Tell that. me about you. Tell me about things. Things are going as planned, and you know we have the we have two roadmaps. I think we sent you the one for. Let's not sell ourselves short. Let's just really hit it this year and go hard. 13 boxes showed up. We didn't plan on inventory coming here. Dude, I didn't even get like an email or anything saying that these boxes were gonna get here. But these came like almost two weeks early. So this should be the women's stuff, I think anyway. Ooh, I see some oceans. Oh, you know what's gonna be here too? The new crop Ooh. tops. Is on it. <laughs> yeah. Three nets. Just got out of our marketing meeting with our ad agency and uh, had a good meeting, went for an hour and now I gotta go do some errands quick here. Uh, me and Brennan are running to my guy who does all my car stuff. So he does all auto repairs and just tunes up my vehicles, anything maintenance that I need, I go to him and uh, he gets it done for me. So yeah guys, I don't even think I even told you, um, I ended up getting rid of the Audi giving it to my buddy Giovanni you guys know Giovanni um, and I have a truck now this was my dad's truck after my dad had passed away um, I wanted to purchase this truck for my mom so I, you know she didn't have have truck payments or anything to worry about anymore secondly you know I, I love this truck and it was very special for my dad my dad took such good care of this truck and I actually went with them and picked out this exact truck with them picked it out together and I know I remember going on a test drive with him and it was just a fun experience and so now that my dad you know is gone and in heaven now I wanted to make sure that I'm taking care of his truck for him you know just uh, carrying on his legacy for the time being um, it's nice it's a 2014 Chevy Silverado it's got it's got some high miles on it because my dad was a, a construction guy he's a general contractor so we put on a ton of miles from just driving from state to state and just driving everywhere um, but you know I'm gonna try to drive this as long as I can drive it into the ground until we get something else um, yeah I don't know time will tell we'll see as long as I can enjoy this for the time being and honor my dad with it I know that's what he would want as well anyways we're gonna drop this off and grab the Escalade get back to the warehouse got a busy day <sighs> it was weird being the Escalade even though like, you know, like the truck sits high, it sits a lot higher. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel guys. So right now, uh, since since I took photos last night with Noah, you can see this is a flat lay, so I gotta go ahead and uh, crop this out, do some Photoshop magic on it, make it completely white backdrop around it, get the shadowing on it and everything, make it look all nice and purdy. Then we got Lex editing photos over here as well. And then we got the warehouse guys. Let's see what they're up to. There they are. Hey. Hi. Howdy there. What you guys up to? We're sticking stuff to I boxes. Looks like stuff. it. Very nice. Look at this handsome devil here. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> he begged me to get on the website. Just, I mean, I was crawling him in the warehouse like this, like a little kid, just on my leg, yeah, you were begging, begging me. Like, please, little, please, yeah. little, please. <laughs> You see this chisel jawline? This hey. could be on the three nails. Hey, but tell them our armor fleece sales, though. They skyrocketing, boy. Just wait till you see what's next. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be modeling the women capris. <laughs> I hope not. We're doing some new rearranging here. We had the way. Oh, these are the new ones. Wow, these look so nice. Right? Beautiful. <laughs> Anyways, we're putting new labels on over here. Wait, you getting everything on situated. I don't know if you guys notice either, but we've got more boxes here, more picking boxes, and things are just looking crazy. It's just nuts seeing how things look right now. We're just honestly, we're just gearing up for spring line and then summer line after that. This warehouse is gonna be pretty packed. Once we get Summerline here, we're gonna have to be taking over this space here. So I'm sorry, but basketball hoop is gonna have to go bye bye. I don't know. We're gonna, you know, you know us. Like we can't live without basketball. So we're gonna have to figure out some place to put it. Even if like worst case scenario, we gotta like play outside and put it out by the dock door. So be it, man. It is what it is. It's winter right now, 
and a uh, good thing is we got enough space you know to make it to spring and summer but once that spring line summer line gets here and like all the restocks and everything on top of that we're not gonna have much space in here uh, and it's just kind of crazy to think that you know this 5,000 square foot warehouse which was a big risk at the time of coming here. I was looking at a 2,200 uh, square foot warehouse or this 5,000 square foot warehouse. Warehouses are expensive. Rent each month is no joke. And um, so anyways, long story short, I was going to go with it, but uh, the landlord said, hey, if you want this one, we're gonna make you a great deal on it. If you guys have watched the video where I actually did the warehouse tour, the empty warehouse tour, um, you would know that this is the exact warehouse that I've driven by so many times I would actually like drive into the parking spots at like night on my way home to like just visualize myself being the CEO in this warehouse and um, hiring a full team on in this warehouse and I would just visualize it over and over and so when the landlord said hey we'll make you a better deal if you want to go with the 5,000 square foot warehouse one I was just like I was all in I mean she she got me she suckered me in and uh, thank God thank God, man. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that, that we did it. We took that risk, and I told my mom, and I told my wife, I said, hey, I don't care what anybody says. We're going to take the, the bigger risk on it, and uh, we're going to do it. And look at us now. Like, it's crazy how if we would have picked the 2,200 square foot warehouse, we would have been able to fit all the stuff in it. Probably would have had to break the lease, get a bigger one. And so we picked the right one. And uh, the game is how do we maximize the space that we have now before we have to get a bigger one? And what does that look like? And it just, I can't even fathom that. It's just, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but you also need a plan as well. So that's what little and Brennan have been doing to help me out, figuring out max capacity, how many units can we get in here, how many pallets, picking boxes, overstock racks, just everything in general, and so we can get a good idea of, you know, how do we maximize our space here before we are pushed out to get a new one. Um, and we're gonna have this whole gym here pretty soon. You guys are gonna see it. We got stuff coming in within the next, I think within the next five to seven days. I finally got a shipping notification that it all shipped out and uh, we're just waiting now, so it's cool. Fun times, man, fun times to be alive. And also we got the photo shoot stuff over here now. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like the current layout of the warehouse, kind of the calm before the storm. We have 9,100 units coming in here. Um, they were supposed to be here yesterday, but they didn't show up. Stuff has been delayed, so it'll be here on Monday. Today's Thursday. Um, so yeah, it'll be here, it'll be here early next week. Yeah, 9,100 units coming in. How do you feel about that? I feel like that is about 9,100 units. Cool. It's kind of like when they say, you know, what's the first thing that pops in your head when I say cat? And people are usually like dog. It's like, no, I think cat too, because you said it. <laughs> Little is a different breed. You're going to scare off my followers. <laughs> 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 you're like the right there. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jump scare. Scare. You ever seen those videos where scares. like the guy like hits like the baseball bat like once and he hits the ball and, and it comes and face. then you're on your I mean, phone and the phone like jumps out of your hand. I'm like, Twitter on right? the timeline and then one of those pops up and I'm like, I'm done. I know. Brennan's got the new gray beanie yeah, on. Check, check that out. out. It's fire. Oh, it's warm. Our beanie sold out so fast last time. We got a ton of the black ones back in restocked and then we got a new colorway obviously being the gray. So um, yeah, pretty cool. Check this out guys, we got the new women's stuff in here. My goodness, this is how things have been looking for a while. And now we're finally filling them back up. It is a beautiful sight to see. Customers are going to be happy. All the new women's stuff. Um, well, this is restock of the women's stuff, not new. Um, so this is like the ocean, leggings, sports bras, onyx black. But this is a new colorway. This is the dusky plum. So any of my women subscribers out there follow my channel. We got this new dusky plum color, which is just straight fire. We got the sports bra and the matching leggings. Wait, where are the leggings at? Over here. Oh. They're right across so they're easier to pull. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Cool. And here's the matching leggings to go with it. Dusky plum. It's kind of like a pastel color. Super trendy. Like it. Checking back in. It's a few hours later. Finally finished all the photos. Look at this guy. Look at this man right here. Anyways, uh, 
yeah, me and Lex have been editing photos pretty much all day, what'd you say? Yeah. All day. All day, every day. Not every day, but just today. <laughs> all day today. Today though. Just today. Just today. Just today. All today. If you didn't hear it. Yeah, it's about 5 p.m. right now. Um, we're just finishing up some work here. Busy, busy day, wrapping it up. We're launching pre-sales tonight for the new colors. We got, here, let me show you actually. All right, so I'm gonna show you one of the pieces. The other ones I gave to Noah last night because he did the photo shoot um, as a thank you, and those are the only samples I have, but I have this. So this is the Ascension Zip, as you can see, uh, but we got a new colorway. We got the olive. So the other ones that we've already had for a while is the black and then the gunmetal, but this new olive is just crispy, boy. Really excited about these. Yeah, we got a lot of new stuff coming out for Springline. And we got quarter zips. And we have these cargo joggers. If you guys have seen these yet. We got a lot of pieces. I'm not going to go into it because it's just so much. Um, yeah, these last couple days have been just so jam-packed with photo shoots, editing photos, getting stuff on the website so we can start pre-sales. And then we have, like I said, the 9,100 units coming in um, early next week. So once we get those in, we already have a lot of pre-orders. I'm not even gonna tell you guys how many pre-orders. Brendan's just smiling behind the camera right now because he knows how many we have. It's a lot, a lot. We gotta recruit some people next week. Anyways, back to the grind. We'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, right now they're playing. Whoever wins the game, I'm gonna buy their meal and their drinks tonight. We're going out to kitchen table after this. Um, so we got dinner reservations, it's gonna be fire. It's our place, if you guys don't already know, kitchen table. Oh, oh, cross them up, cross the south up. My man's only got one, oh! We got one eight. Oh my goodness! Hey, yo, check it out. This is a 1v1 game in boots. Charles got two moves. He's gonna pump. Is he gonna pump? <laughs> Char Charles got two moves. He's gonna pump. Shut if you don't get him to move, if you don't get him to move, then he's gonna drive right. What a spin. What a, there it is! What a spin! That's play for play! That is play for play, people! Are you gonna drive for that slide? 10 Oh, good. Game point. Game point. Now he has to be all over the block. Well, Charles, over the block. 